Hello, my name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. If you could please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, and we're more than halfway there. Today, we're going to continue on with our mind map. So if we're preparing for a job interview or the uh, certified systems administrator exam, you might see some of these concepts on there or asked during a job interview. So we're going to continue with, excuse me, our next concept, sorry, I didn't mean to click there just yet, which is knowledge base. So the keywords that I remember are repository, important, and information. So there might be a question that says something like, what is knowledge base? And those are the three keywords that I think would be in the answer. Also, if you're interviewing for a job or even preparing for an exam, they might ask you something along the lines of, um, how can you create or what are the different um, ways or functions or methods um, to create an, a KB so um, I went to it in the tool um, you have it under self-service but really where you want to go is under knowledge right here and you'll see all these um, these modules here so I clicked on published and this is what comes up let's move to our next one Workflows. So how do we make them available to users? We make them av available to users by publishing them. So I'm going to go ahead and put that over there. And I'll even open this up a little bit so that way you can see it. And then let's see here. Let's go to a workflow right here. I've checked it out. And now if I click publish, it'll make it available to users. Remember that if you're an admin and you're working on um, a workflow and you want to test it out, um, you don't have to publish it each time, so it'll it'll still run and you'll be able to make that work. So it's just that the users won't be able to um, uh, trigger the workflow um, until it's published. So um, just food for thought on that one in case you're in that interview and they may ask you about that. All right, so next we move on to changing the banner and colors. Um, I remember I had this one on a job interview. Uh, where do you go? So system properties, CSS properties are two places that we would go. So I'll show you um, where in the tool. So let's see here. Here's our CSS properties. Um, we'll see here banner text color, um, etc. Then I went to um, system properties system right here. And then what I did was I typed in the word banner. And then, you know, you have your style and the icon for the help link and all this other stuff here. So I'll let you browse that at your own leisure. So these are some things that I think that could pop up during an interview um, or maybe on the exam. So uh, that's it for this segment. My name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we've just unlocked the power of ServiceNow. Please subscribe. Thank you.